Member Design and Detailing The design of banding and shear reinforcements are based on the ultimate limit states for structural failure. It is normally corresponding to the active and the bearing pressures acting on the retaining wall. The gravity walls seldom require bending and shear reinforcement. However, cares are to be taken in order to limit the shrinkage and thermal cracks. As for the counterfort and cantilever wall, the design and detailings are similar to the slabs. For preliminary sizing, a typical cantilever wall will require approximately 80 mm per meter depth of backfill. As the retaining wall is used to retain soil at a certain required elevation, there could be existence of the groundwater. The hydrostatic forces due to the groundwater may induce additional loads and leads to failure of the retaining wall. These hydrostatic forces can be reduced by providing a drainage path to discharge the groundwater from the soil. This can be done by providing a layer of rubble or porous blocks. The rubbles are provided here so that the groundwater can easily flow into here and quickly be discharged through the weak hole to the drainage in front of the retaining wall. This is important to reduce the hydrostatic pressure of the wall to reduce the likelihood of leakage of groundwater through the wall and also to reduce the likelihood of water to reach and damage the soil beneath the foundations of the wall. As for the reinforcement, typically two layers of reinforcements are provided. Each layer of reinforcement has a main reinforcement and secondary reinforcement. The retaining wall is designed similar to a cantilever slab. Therefore, the main reinforcements are typically arranged to have a maximum depth in order to maximize the efficiency of the retaining wall. As for the secondary reinforcement, minimum amount of reinforcement bar may be provided. While providing reinforcement bar to the retaining wall, it is essential to check also for the serviceability considerations, such as the maximum and minimum reinforcement bar area, as well as the maximum spacing between the reinforcement bars. Adequate encourage is to be provided and reinforcement bar are to be provided on the toe beam or heel beam.